Hey guys, it's me, Netherite Shield 19, back here again with another Realm Shields episode. Now, I did a lot more work off camera, as you can see from the sheep die, because today we are going to be continuing work on this entirely. But before we do, I also have something else to show you, which is this. Yep, I've started work on adding this flag right up top there, because that's the one thing I realized I forgot to do. So yeah, I've started work on that. Hopefully I should have it done by the next episode. I mean, today I might sketch out... I might sketch out the plan for today. Oh, the sun is setting. But anyways, let's use the opportunity of the sun setting to show you something else. You might have already seen it in my inventory, but I'm going to show you anyways. Because, off camera, I managed to get all the materials for another heart canister. Yep, I'm a proper health hoarder here, guys. I'm a proper health hoarder, so let's just get away from the sheep. And, da-da-da-da-da! It's like I have a permanent golden apple now, and also, you may see my XP levels a little bit different. It's because at some point I died on accident while trying to get some materials. I was going over to that snow biome that's over this way, and there were some ice crabs that were overpowered, although it was probably because... I didn't have proper armor then, so I died, and I decided to get some more armor, and yep, here we go. At least I don't have that annoying bat that goes around me anymore. I stored that Spelunker chest plate in there, but I'll take it out if I need some more back on. I'll be sure to do that. Alright, now, let's go to sleep. I, I divide my attention to at least one side project so that I don't turn away my viewers. And yep, let's go up here. Let's add a flag. I don't know how we're going to do this. Alright. I'm going to do it like this. Alright. Alright, I've got I've slapped together some kind of design there, although it's not looking too good. I hope I'm going to do it like that. Alright, now let's see how this looks. That was a big splash. How does this look? Because I don't want to spend too much time on it. I only want to spend like five minutes or so. Uh, that's looking pretty ugly. Let's fix it. Alright. Alright. Now let's look, go back down here where we dropped our wool. And here we go. Alright. Alright. How does this look? Okay, that's looking a little bit better. I'll probably change it later off camera, but it's looking a little bit better now. Alright. Now, let's do our shearing on these wool types again. Now, I'm going to go down here and show you the other part of progress. As you can see here, I've carved in another hallway sort of thing down here. I've already made these nice looking gates, as, and as you can see here, the grass is beginning to grow. Alright, now all I need to do is to plug up the holes. And I'm also going to use this opportunity to make some more pocket holes. Alright. Now, 
I've gotten that taken care of, and all we have to do is wait for this section to grow. The section's almost finished. I'm just gonna need to put some more pocket holes here. So that the so that the sheep can't eat all the grass. Alright. We've got the pocket holes on the side taken care of. Let's do the ones on the other side. Alright. Alright, now we've gotten that taken care of, so we're, I'm gonna need to get some quilted wool for this section. I'm gonna need nine per bit, if my calculations are correct. Yep, nine per wool. Alright. And yes, I am aware that we are starting to get into the ocean with this hallway, which means that I'm going to need to build a stairwell down on the next one, and then have it go back the way around, which means we're going to have room for six more pods, four for these areas, and two more, counting this sheep entrance thing. All right. Now I'm just going to need to place some wool around here. can't do them all yet because we've got to make some trap doors now to fill the pocket areas. We're gonna need, we're gonna need 12, 24 total for these two pockets, which means we're gonna need a lot of wood. And we're also gonna need some more birch wood to make some more fences and whatnot. Yeah, it might have been a good idea to do a lumberjack adventure off camera, like go over there and whatnot, but yes. Alright, we've gotten a couple of minerals from digging out all that, which is good, because that means that we need to get stocked up on this, and it will save us a couple iron nuggets when constructing the lanterns. All right, we're gonna need a bit more birch for that though. Right. I'm just gonna need to place the fat one here. Oh, there's another tree. There's one right here. Oh, that's a mistake. All right. Oh. Okay, now we've gotten that sorted out, so let's go back. We did our lumberjacking area while the sun was setting. Now it's gotten to night, and, and I'm pretty sure we have 20 minutes left in the episode. We're almost halfway there. So we're going to need 24 truck boards, as I said. 2 times 10 equals 20. And then we're going to need four more. Alright. I've gotten enough trap doors now. Down this way. And now, time to place the trap doors. Alright, now I'm going to need to go down here, place these.
Oh, great. I just realized a problem here. I just realized that the problem is that we can't place them over here. Oh, great. Oh, great. Oh, well, it's too late to do anything about that now. It's too late. Jeez. <sighs> If only I knew that sooner. Alright. Yep. There's nothing we can do about this this area because they need it. Yep. I yeah. <laughs> yep. Alright, enough about that. There's nothing we can do about it now. Alright, now I've got I've got a diamond. That's good. That's always good to get that mineral. These place them. Alright. Now we need to go down here. Alright, I've gotten that sorted out. Now I'm gonna need to make some birch picket fence. We're gonna need eight of it total. Alright, we've got the birch picket fence there, which is good. Quite good. Alright. Yep, just saw some dirt turn into grass. This area is almost done. Need some above the gate. And now we're going to need to fill in the rest of the space like this. Alright, at least we can do the sketch idea right now. We're gonna need a bit of line, line for the glass, and we're gonna need a bit of dandelion as well. Ouch! Alright, now I'm just gonna need some yellow and some green. Now, I need to get, I'm going to need to put the stone away because it's clogging up my inventory. Now, I need to go down here, get some wool. All right. None of the lime sheep have grown their wool yet. Yeah. Let's put the sandstone back in here. Oh, okay, that's better. That's way better. Oh great, these animals always take damage from my berry bushes. Just die already. I'm sorry I have to do this, but... Oh. Yep. Got some nice food there, though.
Okay, now I've gotten that sorted out. Which means that the hallway's looking better now. I mean, if you look at it from this angle, it looks complete. I hope I found an emerald. That's always nice. Alright. Yep. Yeah. You definitely full up on storage. I'm too packed on it. Start by making the eight lanterns we need. Also, put a diamond away, the emeralds away. This is looking good here. This is looking good. Alright. Oh. I saw a creeper over there. There's two of them. There's two of them. armored zombie here with a sword, but at least I've got armor this time, not to mention extra health. So you won't be able to do that to me. No! A creeper. Alright. That did some good damage, although we're gonna need to make one of the modded shields soon. We have seven minutes left. Which means I'm gonna need to wrap this up pretty quickly. Alright, just needed to shear some of them sheep. Alright, so I'm just gonna need to um, place some in here. Although I'm probably gonna expand up there by mistake up to the sand above. Alright. Okay. We've gotten that done, except for the lanterns, which means we might actually have a chance of getting it complete if the lime lime sheep will just keep growing their wool already. Ugh. No lime sheep, just some lousy yellows. I don't even need yellow sheep anymore. You know, I might as well move them in, if I can't get it done. Alright. But hey, as I said, at least we've gotten that taken care of. Let's do a double check. Alright. Okay, we've gotten that going. Now we're just going to need to go down here, close this gate up. As it turns and as it turns out, we've gotten the perfect amount of wool we need for this project. Yep, we've gotten the perfect amount of wool for there. I'm just gonna need to make sure. Do the same for this side. Alright, now let's finish up this this pen right here. I'm gonna put some lamp turns like this. Alright, and now we're complete with this pen. But now we need to do the other one. I mean, at least we got one pen finished in the in the episode, and another one almost done. All right, and I'm definitely gonna move it in off camera. The the sheep. I'm definitely gonna move them in. All right. 
Yep, that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you a lot for watching. If you like what you saw, then please leave a like and consider subscribing so that you won't miss out on these new episodes. If you didn't like it or you think I could do it better, then please leave suggestions in the comments, as I'm always going to be reading them. But anyways, thank you a lot for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye, guys.